Hey guys, so I just finished decorating my son's bathroom. Just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. It's actually mid-September, but Halloween is my favorite holiday, so I've already started decorating with the Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the restroom really quick. And then I'll actually let you guys know where I got the stuff or how I made it, etc. So I'm actually going to try to hold off from decorating the rest of the house at least until October 1st, which probably won't happen. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is the bath mat here. I went ahead and purchased this last night at the spirit store. It's kind of a lower quality, but I don't think I could find any other mats online. And one of the favorite things that I like about the restroom is this. I just went ahead and finished this today. I googled um, the image of Lock, Shock, and Barrel in the bathtub since I figured go get in the bathroom. And I had that printed out. And we went to the Goodwill and found this picture frame and put it in there. And it turned out pretty good. The next item is this Jack Nightlight. We got that on eBay. It was about $9.99. And I believe it glows in the dark. I'm not too sure. Hold on. Mm, I don't think you could really tell. It's kind of... There's still a lot of light in the restroom. I got this duck at TJ Maxx when my son was first born three years ago. It's been in the, his closet, so I decided to make it into this killer duck. And that's also from the movie. This is one of the cups I'm just using in here. And we got that at Walgreens last year. The soap dispenser was purchased at Walmart, just a plain black one. And all I did was add a decal to it. Uh, they do have soap dispensers online, but this is a lot cheaper. The snow globe here was purchased at Walgreens this year. And every year they come out with a different one, so I'll probably be switching those out. Uh, this was another of my finds at the spirit store. I believe it was either $5.99 or $7.99 for the little towel. They had other sets, but I figured I would just use plain towels and just use the one for an accent. For the large frame here, I found that at Ross. It was $9.99. And I just took some construction paper, cut out the circle, and popped it in there. If you look close up, you could see all the little stuff on there. For the basket here holding the towels, we found this at Dollar Tree and the towels were purchased from Target. I went yesterday and the towels were actually on sale about three something for a set of two. So that was pretty, a pretty good deal. And for the shower curtain, this is actually a tablecloth and I liked all the different faces on there. So we turned that into a curtain. Let me get up here. So I just went ahead and used the shower curtain that we have on there already so that I could use it as a pattern. I cut out holes in the fabric and then if you could see I hot glued around the holes so that I wouldn't get any runs in the fabric. And I didn't have to do any cutting. It was actually the Perfect size. It was a little tall, so I just moved the rod a little bit higher. For the magazine rack, that one's actually bolted onto my wall, so I didn't really want to do anything with it. So I won't be able to put it back on. And then the towels here. I purchased the black towel also at Target. I had some leftover ribbon from another DIY project. 
It's a dollar at Walmart. And this was actually an antenna ball that I got at the Disney store. Actually, the beginning of this year. But I didn't realize most cards don't come with a skinny antenna anymore. So I didn't know what to do with it. And I just ended up hot gluing it to the ribbon. I hope you guys have enjoyed this small little tutorial. I'll be having more stuff. If I could wait till October 1st, like I said, I don't think that's possible.